Hello, students. Welcome to class. Today, we're going to be looking at this site called ADAPT. You can find it at adapt.org. You can see right now that we're on the part that says the kill counter. So let me show you this and tell you why I find it interesting. A kill counter basically shows us the amount of animals that have died from the moment that we turned on this site. Right here you can see there are marine animals, chickens, ducks, pigs, rabbits, turkeys, geese, sheep, goats, cows and calves, rodents, pigeons and other animals, buffaloes, dogs, cats, horses, donkeys and mules, camels, and other camelids. More than 150 billion animals are slaughtered every year. This is what this site says. But in fact, since this site was developed, it is far, far more than this. But still, what I like about it is it gives you an idea of what's going on. It says here, these are the numbers of animals killed worldwide by the meat, egg, and dairy industries since you opened this web page. These numbers do not include the many millions of animals killed each year in vivisection laboratories. They do not include the millions of dogs and cats killed in animal shelters every year. They do not include the animals who died while held captive in the animal slavery enterprises of circuses, rodeos, zoos, and marine parks. They do not include the animals killed while pressed into such blood sports as bullfighting, cockfighting, dogfighting, and bear baiting. Nor do they include horses and greyhounds who were exterminated after they no longer deemed, after they were no longer deemed suitable for racing. Origins of the kill counter you can find by going to the site. But let's go back to looking at the animals. I'm going to reset my computer right now and you'll see how quickly it goes back up. Going to the top now, I'm pressing the reset. We started off at zero. And now if you look at the marine mammals, they're already at 20,000, 23,000, 30,000. These are the animals being killed right now worldwide. Many of them unnecessarily so. Chickens are some of the most abused animals on the planet. We cannot see them. They are hidden in sheds, on factory farms, dark places where they get no sunlight, where they cannot see the sky or feel the wind. They are kept in tight, confined places, being tortured just so that they can end up on your burgers or on your plates. Every time you get a McChicken sandwich, for example, you contribute to a horrifying suffering. Ducks are also killed. So are pigs. Pigs are killed in gas chambers at just six months old. Totally unnecessary. It's not necessary for us to eat bacon, sausage, ham, or pepperoni. We can choose other options. Worldwide, many rabbits are killed and turkeys. Many of you eat turkey on so-called special occasions. Somehow, through our culture, through our habits, we've been taught that eating a turkey is a moment of celebration, when in fact, there's a corpse on the table, a dead animal who was terrified, taken from their family, and had their head chopped off. If we think that consent is important among humans, why don't we think that same way when it comes to animals? No animals consent to dying. Sheep are killed, baby lambs as well. Imagine a lamb, so innocent, ending up on your table as some sort of a celebration. And people say that Jesus killed lambs, sacrificed them. I don't believe it for a second. I don't believe that he was a good person if he did that. 
And I believe that if he truly was alive, he would not do that right now. If I was here sitting beside Jesus and there was a little lamb in the room and I said, Jesus, would you like us to cook some delicious lentils and tofu? Or would you like me to stab this innocent lamb in the throat right now? Jesus would say, Miss Katie, you already know the answer to that. Jesus would say that he's a loving person and he would not want to hurt anyone innocent. Jesus would say, let's go vegan. That's exactly what would happen. And any Christians here know that in their hearts. The only reason that you talk about eating animals is because you are addicted to the idea of eating them. That's just habit and that can change. Cows are murdered by the second, look at that. Look how quickly the, the animals are being killed. These end up, cows are gigantic animals. They end up in burgers at McDonald's. They end up as steaks and their babies are killed in the dairy industry. The baby boys are taken away from their mothers so that the mother's milk can be given to humans. How crazy is that? We're not cows and we're not babies. Nobody should be taking a baby away from his mother and no animals should be put into slavery. If we think that slavery is wrong, then why do we let it continue? Dogs are killed for food in China and so are cats. And if that horrifies you, then think about what's on your own plate and how are dogs or cats any different than cows or pigs or turkeys or chickens or lambs. This is the kill counter. There are far more animals being killed than you actually see here. But maybe, just maybe this touches one or two of you and if just one or two of you will become vegan after seeing this, and if just those one or two of you will become an animal rights activist like me, you too can reach thousands of people and change the world for millions and millions of animals. Never ever think that you don't have power in this world. Just by sharing this video, you'll make a huge difference. Thank you for being on the right side of history. If you find value in this channel, please like, subscribe, press the notification bell, and help me get these animals out of hell. Thank you.